wanted to share with you our focus this month for October is to take it back to basics with the squat. Um, yes, squats build our legs and our butt and our hamstrings, um, but they also work, squats also help us to engage our core, um, helps us with the foundations to drive our other lifts, um, like when we're working shoulders or biceps, anything upper body where we're driving, um, driving our heels down into the floor so that way we can get that weight up there. So I wanted to share with you guys um, three squat variations um, that you can kind of play with um, in your leg day sessions um, and just kind of see where you are and add them into um, your squat workouts or your squat day and see how you feel changing it up. Um, so the first one is going to be a tempo squat. You can do these um, as front squats or back squats. I'm gonna do them as front just because it's easier to talk. Um, so for a tempo squat, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna, um, for a front squat, you're gonna set it across the shoulders. And so you're gonna do a four count down. So one, two, three, four, push up. Two, three, four. And so that is your tempo squat. So let me do it one more time. One, squat so that is a beginner move so think about using that when you are starting to work in a heavier weight um, and maybe unsure about the load or um, maybe not super confident in it um, it can definitely help you build up um, your resistance to that weight so start working those in the second one is going to be a pause squat um, so same thing I'm gonna do it in a front squat. Um, and this one is going to be, you do a normal tempo down, um, and then you're gonna hold for a four count or a seven count at the bottom. So, that one looks like this. So you're gonna squat down, and you're gonna hold. Four, three, two, one, and come up. And so that would count as one rep. time to use the pause squat is when um, same thing if you are um, trying a new weight out or increasing your lift and um, needing to you want you want to be able to when you're in the bottom of your squat be able to drive that weight up um, and so if there's ever a hesitation pause squats will help you get over that hesitation when you're driving the weight back up so the last squat I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit advanced move, um, but still a good, good uh, squat variation to work in. And it's gonna be a, a one and a quarter squat. So for this one, the front squat, you're gonna squat all the way down. You'll see a bounce at the bottom and then full squat and then full uh, extension up. So I'm gonna squat down. Same thing, it's a good um, variation when you're starting to increase your weight, and so um, that way you are driving your heels down, driving your legs um, into the floor, so that way you are able to push through and up into that squat. So all of this month, we are focusing on various squat uh, ways and methods, and I cannot wait to hear how you're doing with them and how you're progressing with them. So if you have questions, just uh, leave them in the comments and I can help you out and uh, get your squat form looking better. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk